Hey guys, hope you're having a good week. And as promised, I wanted to come back and give you an update of where I am in my decision and my journey with this beast of uh, cancer. And so first of all, I just wanna say thank you for everyone who watched my last video and for everyone who's um, journeying with me through all of this, your support and your encouragement and your prayers are felt. And it is such an, a blessing and an honor to hear from so many people along the way encouraging me. So I just wanna say thank you for that. And so I, I have spent some time this week making a final decision. And you know, as I had said in my last video, the doctors here, um, in, at MD Anderson are wanting me to pursue a conventional route of therapy, which would involve pharmaceuticals and um, a long, long journey of potentially very harmful side effects. And I get it, my cancer is stage four, it's severe and we need to tackle it and I agree, but I've been given no indication by my doctors that it's a matter of weeks or months. Um, they said at this point we're not really talking about life expectancy, we're just trying to um, get this problem under control. And so with that I had the opportunity this week to um, reach out and talk to several friends with really wise counsel and uh, it's helped me come to the decision that I've made um, in pursuing a therapy that is not conventional. I, I've made the decision to go ahead and pursue a holistic um, therapy that's much less um, harmful in its side effects and that's not based in pharmaceuticals, that's based in natural uh, means. And the therapy is three weeks long. But I feel like that by doing this, I'm, I'm at least finding out if this is a route that my body will respond to. And, you know, after three weeks, if there's not success, then I can move on to plan B. So I feel like this is the route that I need to pursue. I have a lot of peace about it. And, you know, I'm just trying to make wise decisions and not do anything hastily. So um, that's where I am. I, I will say that the treatment is not here in the United States. It's outside of the United States. And, um, that the kind of treatment that I'm looking into, it's not something offered here in the United States. And so I, I feel good that I've found a clinic that's been very open and communicative with me and that has really explained the process to me. So um, I'll probably in other videos as this process unfolds, share more with exactly what is going on and how the therapies work. But, but today I just wanted to come and give you this update. And um, you know, I've come to a point and all along this journey so far, God has really put so many people in my path to encourage me and pray for me and help me. And I'm so grateful for that. And God's really showing me, cause I, I tend to be the kind of person that tries to do everything on my own. Um, you know, I, I kind of have always felt like if you want something done right, do it yourself, you know, kind of person. Um, but I'm realizing there are times in life when it is totally out of our, our hands and we have to put it in God's hands and God will put people around us to support us and encourage us along the way. And that's where I am today. So I have to do something today that I, I really just never like to do, but um, I feel that this is the right thing to do. And, and I'm gonna ask for some help. Um, this, you know, all along this journey, and you've probably noticed in all my videos, I, I share a little something from the Bible. And that's really where I glean my strength from, um, is God's word, because it's true. And it's never been not true. And God has shown me truth all through my life. And so again, I was reminded of a story in the book of Exodus where Moses and the Israelites are fighting um, a king called Amalek. And God had arranged it supernaturally where as long as Moses kept his hands raised into the sky, basically worshiping God, um, the Israelites were prevailing and they were winning the war. But if Moses dropped his hands, then the armies of Amalek would begin to win and the Israelites would begin to suffer loss. And so Moses was trying with all of his might to keep his arms up and in the air, but he was a man and he began to grow weary. He began to get tired. And at that moment, as his hands were beginning to fall, 
two other men, um, Aaron and Hur, they came up alongside of Moses and they grabbed his arms and they raised them to the sky and they stood with him and supported him and gave him strength until the sun went down and the Israelites won the war. And, you know, I just think that story is such a reminder that God may ask us to do things or go through things or, or whatever the case may be, or there may just be a battle that we're facing, but he doesn't expect us to do it alone. First and foremost, we can depend on him, but he also sends people in our path and, and he has people there to support us and encourage us. And, and that's where I am today. And I'm realizing that and I'm learning that. And so maybe you're facing a battle and I just want to encourage you to look around because there are people that are looking to help you. And, you know, sometimes we can be stubborn and, and say, I've got this, but God didn't design us to walk alone. He designed us for community and fellowship and uh, to encourage one another. So I, um, I recognize that today. And so today I'm gonna do what I usually don't do and that is ask for your help. Um, you know, so many of you have, have subscribed to the channel and you, you keep up with me through social media and on here and, and I just, it's such an encouragement to know that you care. And so I thank you for that. And um, so today I'm asking, I'm asking you if you would <clears throat> help me to be able to raise the money um, I need to go get this therapy. Um, my insurance won't cover any of it. And so the, the cost more or less with the therapy, the travel, everything that it's gonna take, is gonna be about $35,000. And um, I would love to say that I have an extra $35,000 and it's no big deal, but really I basically just have uh, bills and debt. So um, at this point, I wanna be able to do this therapy as soon as possible. Um, I wanna get it I want to start managing this and um, I would like to maybe go in the beginning of January if possible. Um, so I'm going to start a GoFundMe and I'll put the link in the description below. I'll also send it out through social media. Um, but I just wanted to to ask, you know, if, if you feel led and, and if it's in your heart to help me uh, be able to raise that funding, I would so greatly appreciate it. You know, and if you're not in a position where you can do something like that, I totally get it and I, I don't think anything um, less um, because I know that times are hard for everyone and um, you know I just thank you for your encouragement your support your prayers that's really what matters most and so um, you know that's all I did I didn't want to take too much time today but I did want to give you the update let you know that I am starting to pursue this therapy um, I, I'm excited I do feel very hopeful about it and so um, really I just have this last obstacle of finances and I know that um, you know, by God and, and through support, um, I'll overcome it and I'm gonna move forward. So I wanna keep you posted on the journey. Um, so thank you for watching. I'm probably not gonna do a lot of updates here in the next few days about um, this because it's kind of at a standstill. I'm just working on raising the funding and then I'll start the therapy. And, and once I start the therapy, um, I'm gonna give you up to, up to date, up to the minute. Um, videos just letting you know what's going on and and the extent of how it's working so anyways thanks for sticking with me thanks for being a part of this channel um, thanks for being a part of my life and love you guys and take care and i look to see you again soon as always eat plants and enjoy the journey